Welcome to Let That Sink In Quickly, a quick take on a career and professional development issue. I'm your host, Vaughn. Now, the other day I was on a Zoom meeting, and as you probably all know, one of the most common things about Zoom meetings is that most participants like to keep their cameras off. Why people like to participate in Zoom meetings with their cameras off and whether this is a good or a bad thing is a conversation for another time. Today we're going to talk about something completely different. Now, as a substitute for having their cameras off, a lot of the participants had pictures up on their screens. Some of them were random pics of themselves at a party or a gathering or something like that. And others were like pictures of cartoons and, you know, other graphic images, things like that. Scanning through the range of pictures that were up got me thinking whether or not the persons put any real thought into what these pictures say about them as professionals. And that got me thinking in turn about the value of a good professional headshot photograph and how you can take one of those with your cell phone. We're going to get into both of those topics on the other side of this break. And you know what to do. Hit the like button, hit the share button, hit the subscribe button. Great stuff coming up on the other side of this break. Let that sink in. A good headshot photograph sends a strong message about who you are, what you do, and the company you operate under. So when marketing yourself for a job or another kind of professional opportunity, a good headshot photograph can be a major asset. I recommend getting one professionally done, but let's get serious. That costs money that not a lot of people might have. Plus, based on the nature of your work, you might not need to go that far. As an alternative, you can get a cell phone with a really good camera and take a useful one yourself. Here are a couple of tips to help you do that. Tip number one, put yourself together nicely. Whether that means getting a haircut, a nice outfit, or dyeing your hair red, blue, and green. Consider your industry and try to find a nice blend of what represents your personality, but is comparable to the top professionals in the field. Tip number two, a little foundation, can't hurt. I know a lot of people might not like to wear makeup, but the goal is to just even out your complexion when the flash hits your face so it makes for a nice photograph. Tip number three, find a neutral background, one that won't distract from you. Think light blue or light gray. Tip number four, use the portrait orientation. I mean, it's called portrait for a reason, right? Tip number five, center yourself. Check the settings on your phone and activate the grid lines which break the screen into nine equal parts. Make sure your face is in the most central squares. Tip number six, give yourself some headroom and some lead room. Those are the spaces between yourself and the borders of the photograph. The goal is to not be stuck up on the edges of the photograph. Give yourself some space. Tip number seven, you can try the basic quarter turned body posture which looks something like this. Or you can use something more representative of the industry that you're in. So for example, if you work in broadcasting, you can sit around a microphone. Or if you work in a laboratory, you can picture yourself around scientific equipment or something like that. And tip number eight, experiment with free online photo editing software to make the image look sharper and more polished. So there you have it folks, tips to help you take a pretty good headshot photo that you can use to represent yourself as a professional and your business. Good luck. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe so you can get access to more professional and career development advice. And of course, feel free to check out some of our other videos and toss us a like and a comment. We'd appreciate that. This was Let That Sink In Quickly. I'm Vaughn. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.